I do. And I love Israel. From Veggie Bad, Merry Christmas, Jim. Your sarcastic wit and your humor can't really be replicated, especially when the actual bullies are the ones who push cancel culture and life ruination. Your humor and wit will be greatly missed. From Waxican. Hey, Jim. I know this may be one of your last time streaming, so I want to ask stuff that I'll probably never get to ask you again. If it's anything too personal, I don't or don't feel like you have to answer. Is there, is there a follow-up? Oh, there is a follow-up. Okay. <laughs> I thought he was just super chatting to say that, and then he never followed up. So I was like, okay, what are you going to ask? I know you're an apatheist. How did you become one? And has your illness made you reconsider spirituality and religion? Well, uh, I became, a, how did you become an apatheist? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. This wasn't like a, uh, uh, let me sit down today and decide kind of thing. And as for, has your illness made you reconsider spirituality and religion? I did have one very strange occurrence uh, during the course of my illness that I never really spoke of. <laughs> It's a little spooky, to be honest. A little bit personal. Um, so, how would you even say this? So, let me preface this by saying, um, I understand when you're sick, you're stressed, and stress can interfere with your, uh, your, your, your basic daily habits, and the medications you are on can have side effects. So, as all of that is a caveat out of the way, and possible explanations for what I'm about to explain to you. Um, I did have one very weird occurrence happen uh, when I first got sick. Had a bit of a dream. Uh, usually I wouldn't put any, uh, you know, uh, meaning behind a dream. Uh, but during the course of the dream, which was very religious in context, uh, there was a, I, I swear to God, there was a uh, numerical code with a group of lettering, uh, you know, kind of all in a combination. And for some reason, it just stuck in my head. And I was trying to figure out, what is that? Is that something I saw? You know, is that something from like a video I saw somewhere? Is that something that that popped up somewhere? And I did a Google search on it. And the weird thing was I got like 10 results, which is fucking strange to begin with. Usually anything you Google, you're going to get like a million. And the first result was <laughs> a sermon talking about a man that was dying of cancer with a certain amount of time to live and how he was going to live his life and what that meant. So I would say that made me reconsider things. You know, it was a, a kind of a, a, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. it. It spooked me. It was very, very on the nose to kind of have this religious dream, to find the sequence in the dream, to look up what that sequence was, and then to have it relate to cancer on something I never would have found anyway. It was very fucking weird. So there's, there's your answer. Uh, never really decided to talk about it. Felt more like a personal thing. Uh, so I never, I never delved into it. But that's always been in the back of my head. 